to some coronavirus headlines. If you recently tested negative for COVID-19, but maybe you feel off, the FDA has a warning you're going to want to hear. This is specifically for the rapid test offered at places like the CVS rapid test site at Twin River. FDA is saying that specific test could be creating false negatives. I'm going to see reporter Kate Wells joining us live this morning with more details for you. Well, Patrick and Danielle, this is important, of course, because a false negative means you're actually positive for COVID-19. And if you're asymptomatic or you just feel like you have mild symptoms, you could be going around spreading COVID-19 and not necessarily even knowing it, thinking you tested negative. And Eyewitness News has learned that about a quarter of the tests conducted here in Rhode Island have been with this Abbott ID Now point of care test at the CVS rapid testing site at the Twin River parking lot in Lincoln, for example. The Department of Health in Rhode Island said that more than 28,000 tests have been conducted there and about 11 percent have come back positive. The Food and Drug Administration says they're issuing this warning now everywhere in the spirit of transparency. They received 15 reports of issues with the device in various places they're used. So now the FDA is looking into if the issue is with the type of swab being used or even the specific vial used to carry a sample. In a statement, the director of office in vitro diagnostics and radiological health at the FDA said, quote, this test can still be used and can correctly identify many positive cases in minutes. Negative results may need to be confirmed with a high sensitivity authorized molecular test. That, of course, takes a little bit longer to come back with the results. And Abbott said they will now be running tests using 150 vials of cases they know have been confirmed positive for COVID-19 to see if the test can detect all of those accurately. And new this morning, we've learned that there are new CVS rapid testing sites that will be going into Massachusetts, 10 of them across the Commonwealth, and three locally, one in Dartmouth, one in Rainham, and one in Bridgewater. Live in the control room this morning, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.